Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can set up VPN on your computer. Let's say you are using the internet and you want to set up VPN on your browser so that you can unblock websites and stream content from international platforms. You can do that easily by watching this video. So after watching this video, you will be able to set up a VPN and enable it on your computer like this for free. And you can easily access content that is not available in your country. By setting up a VPN on your computer, you can protect your browsing data and it will appear as if you are browsing from a different city or country. And it will hide your identity by replacing your IP address with another IP address. Now the best part is, we will see how you can block ads, pop-ups and malware content using a VPN. Now this video is not sponsored but it is supported by those of you guys who have purchased our courses and our ready-made website templates in MakeAWP. We built this platform where anyone can launch their dream website in just one click. So instead of spending hours and hours setting up your website and getting it to work, you can simply choose our templates and start putting your website into action in no time. You can learn more about it by clicking the links in the description. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's get started. Now we can set VPN on your computer in two methods. In the first method, we will be using Winscribe. Winscribe is a well-known free desktop application and VPN extension that blocks ads, trackers, gives you access to block content on the web and also helps you change your IP address to different locations. So before we use this VPN, first let's check our current IP address. To do that, enter what is my IP and here you can see that this is our IP address. Okay, now let's go ahead and get the Winscribe VPN. So to get the Winscribe extension, just go to the video you're watching right now and click this link. And it'll take you to this website. Now click download Winscribe. Here select Chrome. Now to add the extension to your Chrome browser, click add to Chrome. And a pop-up appears. Now click add extension. And the extension gets added to your Chrome browser. Now for easy access, you can pin this extension on the top of your Chrome browser like this. So just click the extension icon in the top right corner of the Chrome window. And click here. And you can see that the Winscribe extension is pinned to the browser for easy access. Now click the Winscribe extension and click get started. Here you can see that it is asking us to select a plan. Let's select the free plan. And it will ask you to create an account. So to create it, enter a username and password. Now enter your email. And click create account. Okay, so now we have created the account. Now to use the VPN, let's select Winscribe here, then click login. Here enter the same username and password which you used while creating the account on Winscribe. And again click login. Once you do that, you can see that the VPN is on and we are automatically connected to the nearest server. Now to check it, let's go back to this tab and here you can see that this is our previous IP address. Now if we click refresh, you can see that we have the same IP address that was shown in the nearest server. Okay, now let's say you want to change your IP address to a different location so that it will appear as if you are surfing the internet from a different country. To do that, just go to a new tab. Click the Winscribe extension. Now click the location icon. Choose a location. And click on a city. Now a new IP address gets generated. And you can now get the contents on the internet which are available at this location. Okay, now using this IP address, you can surf the internet only up to 2 GB of data. This means once you finish 2 GB of data browsing, the VPN will not work for you. So to get more data for free, you need to verify your email which you used to create the Winscribe account. 
So to verify it, let's go to our Gmail inbox. And here you can see that we have got a mail from Inscribe. So let's open it. Click confirm email. And now we can browse up to 10 GB using the VPN. To check that, let's again click Winscribe. And you can see that we have a 10 GB limit. Now you will get this 10 GB every month. So if you run out of data, you'll have to wait till the next month for it to renew. Okay, once you've enabled VPN, let's see how it performs on our browser. Let's go to a new tab. and type speedtest.net. Now press enter and click go. Here you can see that the download and upload speeds are slow. Now when you use free VPN, your download and upload speed will be slow. If you want to stream any content online, it will be difficult with a slow speed. Also, there are only 10 servers that are provided in free VPN. So to overcome the above limitations, let's go to the second method which is to use a paid VPN extension. In this method, we're going to use a VPN called Surfshark. This is a premium VPN extension that blocks ads, trackers and gives you access to block content on the web. It has an extension for all the browsers and you can connect to as many devices as you want. So to download the Surfshark extension, just click the link in the description below and it will take you to this site. Now click Get Surfshark VPN and you can see the plans which you can choose from. Now Website Learners provides you a coupon code which gives you an 83% discount on this price and also the first 3 months of your subscription will be free. To get the discount, click here. Now here you need to enter the coupon code which is given in the description. So let's enter that and click apply. And as you can see, we have got the discount. So now let's go ahead and make the purchase. So just click continue to check out and click continue. Now here enter your email address and then choose a payment method. I am going to choose credit card. So let's click here. and enter the details. Once you're done, click complete purchase. So now we have successfully purchased the Surfshark extension. Once you have purchased the extension, let's log into our account. So here, enter the email address which you used while purchasing the extension. So let's enter that. Now the password will be sent to our email once we purchase the extension. So to get the password, let's open a new tab and click Gmail. Here you can see that we have received an email. So let's open that. And here you can see we have got the password. So let's copy this password. Then go back. and paste it here. Once you're done, click login. Okay, so now we have logged into our account. And here you can download the extension to the browser of your choice. Since I have a Chrome browser, I'm going to click here. Then click add to Chrome. Now click add extension. and the Surfshark extension will be added to our browser. Now to pin the Surfshark extension for easy access, just click here. Then pin this extension and the extension will be pinned here. Now to log into the Surfshark account, click on the Surfshark icon. Now here again, enter the same email ID and password which you used to log into your Surfshark account. Click login and you will be logged in. Now to connect to VPN, choose the location of your choice. 
I'm going to select this. And it will be connected. Now if you click here, you can see that a new IP address has been generated. Now to check it, let's open a new tab. And type what is my IP. Now press enter. And you can see that the same IP address was shown in the Surfshark extension. Now let's see how it performs on our browser. Now you can do a speed test and check the download and upload speed of your browser. So let's open a new tab. And type speedtest.net. Now press enter. Now if we click go. Here you can see that the download and upload speed is fast. Now you can stream online content easily. So this is how you can set up VPN using Surfshark. Similarly, you can choose any country and set up a VPN using Surfshark. Here you can see the download and upload speeds of the following countries. Next, let's say you want to stream content from international OTT platforms that are not available in your country. So to access international OTT platforms, just go to your browser. Now let's go to netflix.com. And here you can see that the OTT platform shows India as the region. Now if you want to access the content from UK region, just go to the Surfshark extension. Now if you click here, you can see that our current location is India and this is our IP address. To access the content from the UK region, just type the location as UK in the search bar and then select the location. I'm going to select London. Now if you click here, you can see that the IP address has been changed to the UK location. Now refresh the Netflix page and it shows the UK page for Netflix that you can watch. Similarly, you can use Surfshark to access other OTT platforms such as Disney plus Hotstar and Amazon Prime of any other countries. Okay, this is how you can use the Surfshark extension to access international OTT platforms. Now let's say you want to block ads or pop-ups on any website you visit. You can do that easily by using Surfshark. Surfshark has a feature that can block ads, pop-ups and malware. Now let's see an example. Just go to your browser and type newyorktimes.com and here we can see so many pop-up ads. Now if you want to remove these ads, you need to enable a few options on Surfshark. So to do that, just go to the Surfshark extension, click settings, now go to VPN settings, enable clean web and enable cookie pop-up blocker. Now if you click refresh on your browser, you can see that the pop-up ads are removed. Similarly, you can remove pop-up ads from any website. So that's it guys. This is how you can set up a VPN on your computer. Now if you want to use Microsoft Office for free, you can do that by watching this video. Also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.